Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Line Without a Hook by Ricky Montgomery. It's a really easy song to play, it's a beautiful little song. I'm going to teach you the whole thing, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, and I'd love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Just let me know you're watching it, and let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning, and I've got a capo on fret number one. Now, the most part of the song is just the same four chords that go all the way through the song. There's uh, a couple of exceptions. There's a slight rhythm change at the end of the verse, and there's also a middle eight which uses different chords. But the main part of it sounds like this. So to play that, we've got a G chord, third finger E3 nearest to the floor, second finger on E3 nearest to your face, and first finger on A2. And we hit all the strings, and that's our G chord. Now the rhythm throughout it goes down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So slowly that's down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Now the next chord is E minor. Keep your first finger in the same place on A2 and put your second finger underneath it on D2. Make sure you don't touch any of the other strings. Hit all the strings. And I haven't written the rhythm out, but you play the same rhythm. So you're gonna go on the E minor chord. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So the first two bars go. We then go to a C chord, which is your first finger, B1, second finger, D2, third finger, A3. Again, the same rhythm, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And the last chord we need is the D chord, second finger, E2, first finger, G2, third finger, B3. And we're going to only play the bottom three, uh, sorry, bottom four strings. So from the D string downwards. Uh, again, the same rhythm. So we've got G, E minor, C, and D. And it sounds like this. Now that goes through all the verses and choruses. There's a little rhythm change though at the end of the first um, verse where it goes like this. So for that, we're doing the G chord, but just hit three hits, all downstrokes. And then same on the E minor. And then for the C and the D, do the same rhythm that we had before. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Um, and that line repeats twice. So let's just play that line once. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That, uh, so that line repeats twice and it goes into the chorus, which is the same as the verse. And then it goes into another verse and then does that end of, this end of verse part. Hopefully that makes sense. And then chorus. Uh, and then there's a middle eight, which is slightly different, where we get this. So to play that, we've got A minor, first finger B1, second finger D2, third finger G2. Playing from the A string downwards, and you're just going to hit six hits going. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then to the G chord, we're going to do three hits. And then this next chord does actually go to a B minor chord, but to make it easier, I've written a B minor seven chord. If you want the B minor chord, we've got first finger A2, second finger on B3, third finger D4, little finger G4. Um, but the easier way is to play a B minor seven chord, which is first finger A2, second finger on D2, third finger B3 and just hit the middle four strings. And we're gonna do three hits on that. 
So those first two bars repeat five times. Um, they sound like this. So you repeat that five times and then carry on into bar 11 and we've got a bar of A minor and then go to D chord for four hits. So you just get this. And then it just goes back to the sort of first line and repeats till the end of the song. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications so you can see when my new videos come out. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, uh, and you wanna print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And also I love to get some feedback, so please let me know that you're watching it out there. Leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what songs I should do next, what you thought of the video. Well, thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.